We can also use the uh, Neobiotech ACM drills, which I believe one of my favorite drills for bone harvest, so that we can harvest in two manners. Autologous bone is still very, very important. We have vital cells. And here you can see in real time, very quickly being able to harvest bone safely in this auto chip maker. And um, although there's been many others that have tried to duplicate this particular technology, I still believe that the Neobiotech, the original um, device created by Dr. Heo, to me is still uh, the best one I've ever uh, utilized for this particular indication. We can then mix this bone with an autologous bloodborne bioactive material here. This is PRF. And we're going to create sticky bone made out of autologous bone. We can also harvest ca uh, cortical bone chips from the ramus buccal shelf. And you can see here the difference in the color of the bone. This is more cortical where there's the previous harvest was more cancellous bone. So a mixture of 50-50 here, getting a half a gram each time. So now we have a one gram mixture of cortical cancellous autologous bone mixed with the patient's own bloodborne bioactive material. So fully autologous bone can be managed in this fashion. Sticky bone being made in this way. So the ACM drill for me is uh, absolutely a necessity. Today's uh, implant surgeon, I would be uh, uh, more, uh, to me, more often than not, I'm using the six, seven, and eight millimeter diameter ACM drills. I, I prefer wider diameter so I can harvest in just a few, few times. And what's nice about these drills is they, uh, they can be used in multiple sites and multiple spaces and they last maybe four or five times before you have to start um, changing them and getting a new one. If you're going to be using them too much, they start to uh, be used too often at high speed, which they shouldn't be. So if you're going to be using the ACM drills, remember again, the plastic sleeve cannot be placed in a sterilization unit. It has to be cold sterile and the metal can be placed in an autoclave. Also remember that you're going to be using these drills at low RPM. It's very important that if you're going to be using them, as you saw in the video, that you're using them at low RPM. Typically, I'm, I use them between 150 and 250 RPM um, and not anything above that. If you get too high on your RPM, you're going to end up killing a lot of the vital cells and the, uh, the graft will not be as biologically sound. 